friends welcome back to my channel my name is Dom and in today's video I'm gonna be doing my empties video I've been trying to do these every three months so we've kind of hit the three month mark a little bit ish somewhere around in there I think the last time I did one was in March so I am just calling myself due for another one because I just want to get rid of some trash so let's do it friends okay so it wouldn't be an empties video if I didn't talk about the ordinary rose hip seed oil. I've talked about this in so many videos of mine. Um, it's just one of my favorite face oils and I feel like it's helped with my scarring. So I don't even know what number this is, but I already have one like in my skincare fridge that's ready to go because this one is finished. So I will continue to repurchase this and I'm sure you'll see it in 20 bajillion more until I find another oil that works just as good. Okay, moving on. I finished up a 10 skin. Now this I bought like a long time ago. I probably bought this about a year ago or so, but I would just use this after I shaved or after I waxed, things of that nature, um, just to kind of help with like ingrown hairs. I feel like it just dried my skin out because it just smelled like straight up alcohol. So I don't like this. I actually much, much, much prefer my um, Lady Sweet, which is actually an intimate skincare and wellness brand. It's a glow refiner, so you can use this like on your bikini area, like that situation. And then you can also use this, like I use this under my arms too. I believe you can use this on your face. I haven't tried this on my face, but I just use it like on my underarms and on my lady bits um, to just keep everything nice and bright and razor bump free. Um, and I've been really enjoying it. So I actually do need to go ahead and order some more of this because I have such a little bit left. So I know this will be done. This actually wasn't in my empties bin, um, to mention, but we're here and I know that I only have like a couple uses left before this is empty. So I'm just going to go ahead and claim it in here as well. Also, this isn't an empties cause it's far from empty, but I highly recommend the rejuvenating botanical oil, which I also put on my lady bits. I don't put this under my arms. I just put it in that little area and I, it just makes the skin so soft. It's not irritating or anything like that. So, um, highly recommend you using some sort of moisturizer. And I really, really like this because it's made just for that. Like it's wholesome ingredients. It's not going to break you out. It's not scented. So it's not going to irritate you. I've always just was like really nervous about putting stuff there because I didn't want it to like clog my pores or like become an issue. You just put it on the outside, but still, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just feel like putting lotions and stuff like that just never really seemed to sit right with me. So I really have been liking Lady Sweet and I actually heard about this brand on TikTok by um, a waxer. She was a Brazilian, she's a Brazilian waxer on um, TikTok. I forget what her name is, but yeah, she recommended these and I've been enjoying them, especially this spray. So yeah, moving on. Let's talk about that. Okay, on to face wash. Um, I used up another CeraVe hydrating cream to clump cream cream to foam cleanser for normal to dry skin um i already have my backup opened so love this stuff you've probably seen about three or four bottles of this in any of my empties by now but here we are i like it i like it a lot so yeah anyway there's that and then other skincare stuff i finished up a Ooh, this is this I finished up a DHC deep cleansing oil. This is what I would use to remove my makeup. I liked, I liked it. Um, do I think I'll buy this again? I don't really know. I don't really know if I'll buy this again, but I liked it. I, th I think it worked well enough. Um, so I don't know, cleansing oil, stuff like that. I just have to just keep trying them because I just wanted to take off my makeup, but I do think that I did enjoy it. So it's been a while since I've used that one. So I don't really remember, but I do remember enjoying it. It wasn't bad. And then I finished up a little mini of the Dr. Jart Ceramidin Cream, which is just like a moisturizing cream. Um, it's a moisture retention shield. This stuff was really nice. I did really enjoy this a lot. So I'm still considering whether or not I want to purchase the full size because it's a lot. It's a lot. I really want to go back to my La Roche-Posay um, Cica Balm. Now that stuff is good. I do want to purchase that again. That was 
that stuff's amazing okay deodorant i'm calling this one done because it just keeps breaking like this falls out when i try to roll it up but this is my native deodorant in the scent um powder and cotton and i love i don't know i just love this deodorant i like this scent i have a lavender one i have yeah this one is lavender and rose and i don't like the smell of this one i don't like the smell of this one at all so don't like that one but i do have one that smells like cupcakes but i really like native deodorant this is the only like natural deodorant that doesn't make me stink i feel like any other deodorants i just smell gross and stinky so i like this one anyway moving on okay i have some makeup remover wipes because my mom buys like the huge thing of makeup remover wipes from costco so got some of those um oh okay let's see here I have my native body wash as well. I like this. I have probably about three or four uses left in this bottle here, um, but I'll finish that soon. This one is a tie-dye vanilla cupcake. This one smells, I don't know, like, I don't hate the smell of this, but it's not my favorite scent ever. I think it's because it's kind of, it's trying to smell like a baked good. It's not bad. It doesn't really smell like anything. Like, I feel like when I get out of the bath, I don't smell like this left on me. So, um, it doesn't clash with anything, but I really like it. I really like the body wash and the, the packaging is so pretty. So anyway, I think they have a peach one. I might try the peach one, but anyway, moving on. Okay. So I have a body lotion. This is my Vaseline Cocoa Radiant Body Lotion. This is not my favorite. I don't like the scent of this. Not really a fan of the scent. Um, I have a couple body butters and lotions that I'm currently using up, so I wouldn't repurchase this one. They used to have one that I really liked by Nivea, but I don't recall the name of it, and I think they changed it up a little bit. But this isn't my favorite. Don't recommend this. I feel like I get ashy super, super quick, so I definitely will stick with my, um, um, what is it called? The body scrub place, the body scrubs um, that I usually use. I don't remember. Anyway, my brain is fried. But there's a body butter that I like by one of my favorite brands that has like the body scrubs, like the sugar scrubs, you know? Um, it's not Shea Moisture. I can't think of the name. But anyway, um, yeah, don't. I don't like this one, so I wouldn't repurchase that. And then for hair care stuff, I have a couple items. I finished a Miss Jessie's um, Multicultural Curls. I repurchased this. I'm pretty sure I've had one of these in my empties and videos gone past, but I finished up one of those. And then I finished up a few Olaplex things. So I finished up an Olaplex number four shampoo. Really like this. I don't recommend using Olaplex shampoo every single wash. That's a little tip there. Um, but I would work it into your rotation of shampoos. Um, but anyway, and then I finished up one of their number five bond maintenance condition. I can't get this last little bit. There's like a little bit left in there. I've turned it upside down and I lost the top. So yeah, that's it. And then I also finished up one of the Olaplex number eight bond intense moisture mask. And yeah, I like this. Okay. I feel like it's not as I feel like it's not heavy enough for my hair. Also, I did color my hair. Whoops. Um, so I'll probably be using more hair mask for the fronts of my hair because they're blonde now. Um, but yeah. And then I have one other thing, and that is just a candle. This is the Bath and Body Works Waikiki Beach Coconut. This this I can't even smell it now. It just smells kind of burnt, but the color is pretty. And um, yeah, this wasn't my favorite thing. This wasn't my favorite candle ever. I do remember that, but it smelled all right. Sometimes it was just a little too overwhelming. So yes, I think that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys liked seeing some of the product that I've been using up lately. I feel like this is a good indicator of like things that I like, things that I don't like. So 
yeah um let me know if you guys have tried any of these products if you would be interested in these products and if you have any recommendations for any of the things that i've tried and i didn't like let me know down in the comment section below because i'm always open to new suggestions okay and i will see you guys in the next one bye friends